The Lethbridge High School iGym team of 2022 is proud to present Diabetable, a new way to treat diabetes through regular essay RNA injections that allow diabetics to reduce the amount of time and costs spent manually caring for their blood sugar levels. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a type of condition categorized by dysfunctional or low amounts of insulin. Insulin is a hormone that functions to break down sugar in the body. Diabetes can result in either high or low amounts of blood sugar in the body. Low blood sugar will drain your energy, cause dizziness and trembling, and affect your mood. High blood sugar can cause kidney failure, nerve damage-induced blindness, or infected ulcers requiring limb amputation. Typically, patients manually inject themselves with insulin about 8 times a day. If they are lucky, they can afford a battery-powered insulin pump. About the size of a bulky cell phone, these pumps are plugged into the body almost 24-7. They release a small amount of insulin into the body throughout the day and can be used to inject larger amounts to combat blood glucose spikes during mealtimes or exercise. The user must always be prepared to replace the pump batteries, refill the insulin reservoir, or replace the pump patch in case it falls off. Current hands-free solutions include a pancreas transplant or eyelid transplants. These procedures are only available to diabetics who do not respond to insulin re injections, and recipients must take immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of their lives. Installation of an artificial pancreas is also an option that's being explored, but it can't shake common risks associated with surgery. These three options can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and are not guaranteed to last despite the steep price. Furthermore, having to regularly inject insulin into one's body interrupts daily life. There might be a way one could scrap the use of mechanical implants and second-hand body parts, or at least make it an easier path. The team proposes the use of self-amplifying messenger RNA that can produce basal levels of insulin in a glucose-dependent manner. Since it is self-amplifying, it will stay in the body for weeks, freeing up valuable time to just enjoy life. The cost for maintaining blood sugar levels will be reduced since diabetics will be able to spend less on buying and storing insulin. Furthermore, as the technology is hands-free and self-regulating, it can also be used for animals, diabetes. Our development process starts with designing DNA to encode the self-amplifying miRNA. Since the insulin will be produced directly in the body, we can avoid some sequence modifications required by commercial insulin. With developments in self-amplifying mRNA for vaccines, there has been in-depth research into controlling the immunogenicity and prolonging the bioavailability, meaning a safer, longer-lasting treatment. As for glucose sensing, we are including an RNA apartamer that binds to glucose in a way that promotes the production of insulin. There are plans for the construct for producing insulin to be completed by the end of April, but the glucose-dependent switch will require Celix, systematic evolution of Liglands by exponential enrichment to be performed. Testing of the self-amplifying RNA in a human cell line and optimization of glucose-binding RNA aptamer switch will be completed by October, so the results of our new insulin treatment can be presented at the International iGEM Jamboree. Lab testing will be done in the University of Lethbridge's facilities as staff have given the team permission to work there. To ensure proper safety while testing, each member will be required to complete a WIMIS test, and any improper lab conduct will result in members being barred from the lab. As the Lethbridge High School iGEM team, we hope to use Diabetable to help the 422 million people worldwide suffering with diabetes live an easier life. Thank you all so much for watching.